guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marie and welcome to today's video. As you probably saw from the title, today I will be showing you some steps to take to start off a weight loss journey or you can also call it kind of like a beginner's guide to losing weight. I know that losing weight may seem like it is impossible to do, so I thought I would make this video to show you guys some simple and effective steps to take that will make you see results quick, but also it's really important to do it the health Way. I can tell you guys to go on juice cleanses and consume like 500 calories a day and yeah you might lose weight you know for the month or two it will go well but that is not sustainable at all so the key here is to follow certain steps that will make this a sustainable lifestyle because not only are you trying to lose weight you are trying to live a healthy lifestyle not only for a month or two but for the rest of your life I don't want to make this intro too long I hope you guys enjoy these 10 tips I have for you today before we get started with today's video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and of course subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos hit that little bell so you are notified every time I upload a video I do upload twice a week every Monday and Thursday so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with the tips so if we start with the basics to lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit now I don't mean like I said before to eat 500 calories in a day because that is not sustainable and that is not what we want what you want to do in order to be in a calorie deficit is control your portions say for supper after you're done eating your first plate you normally go ahead and take some seconds or maybe some thirds I would stop that what you want to aim for in every meal is to have half your plate of veggies one quarter of cor of carbs and one quarter of protein not only is that a healthy meal but it will also help you save on calories it's important to get full on vegetables and not just a bunch of carbs like rice or pasta you'll also notice that by eating smaller portions you'll feel less bloated when you eat so much to your you know your heart's content that you are so full your stomach hurts your digestive system will have a hard time digesting digesting all of that food so when you eat small portions it's able to correctly you know digest the food make it go down and you'll notice that you'll be less bloated and of course when trying to lose weight that is really something that you want to try to eliminate as much as possible which is being bloated the next tip I want to share with you guys is of course getting in your daily intake of veggies every day now I know that might be hard sometimes because we don't all love to eat our broccoli but one thing that I have been loving to do is using this green superfood blend from Teemi they have recently sent me this product so I did of course try it out for myself and I do love it every scoop of this powder is filled with 16 superfood green nutrients I absolutely love to use this powder in my smoothie I have shared with you guys in other videos of mine how I like to have a smoothie every morning for breakfast and that has helped me lose weight a lot so getting in my fruits and veggies intake of the day in the morning is so easy with this powder the three main ingredients of the 16 are matcha spirulina and wheatgrass which help alleviate inflammation help natural weight loss and they have a ton of antioxidants which of course are great for you this protein is hundred percent plant-based so for my vegans this product will be great for you it is GMO free gluten free dairy and soy free and it even has three grams of protein in every scoop if you are interested in getting this product I do have a code for you guys so it is Marie C 25 and you can get 25% off of your order I will have a link down in the description box if you guys are interested now I thought I'd show you how I love to use this product so now let's head to the kitchen and I'll show you my favorite smoothie recipe that I've been loving recently
the next tip I have for you guys is still on um, the section of nutrition I guess I would say and it is that we know that there are certain foods out there that do um, bloat us so the foods to avoid um, in order to not feel so bloated would have to be um, sugar a lot of carbs and of course foods that you know you are intolerant to I have already made a full video on bloating and how to reduce the bloating and everything so I won't go too much into detail you can go ahead and watch that video if you are interested in knowing more the next tip I have for you guys to lose weight is try using some food swaps or healthier alternatives for example if you do love rice try out cauliflower rice if you love a good hamburger instead of the bun try using a lettuce or what's also good is on one end put the bun and on the top end only leave lettuce not only will that help lower your calories but of course less carbs does equal feeling less bloated now I don't want to say to cut out carbs entirely I have tried that and trust me it doesn't work but I have eaten less just because I have noticed that it does help me feel less bloated another food swap would be zucchini noodles instead of spaghetti and the last example I have for you is if you are a soda lover and you love your coke and your sprite try using a sparkling water that is flavored um, there are so many out there and they are zero calories so that is just great if you're trying to lose weight another tip for you that I have today I'm sure you have heard this one but I did want to mention it just because of how important it is and that is to consume a lot of water in, the, in a day it really helps flush everything out and eliminate all of the excess toxins water everything in your body also if you're drinking water throughout the day you will see that you'll be less hungry it happens a lot where your body is telling you that you're hungry but in reality you're just thirsty so next time you are feeling a little hungry try drinking some water and wait five minutes and then you'll realize that you're not hungry anymore and you were just thirsty of course if you are still feeling hungry after that you can eat a snack the next tip I have is to keep track and stay organized with your weight loss journey start off by taking pictures you want to do this not so that you can look at it and not feel good about yourself but what you want to do is take that and keep it to see your progress another way to help keep you on track with your weight loss is to meal prep I have also made another video explaining all of this recently and of course you can check that out if you are interested in knowing how I meal prep what my favorite foods are to use and everything like that the next thing you want to do if you want to lose weight is make yourself a workout schedule so what I mean by this is that you want to say okay let's say you want to work two times a week you want to plan it in your schedule what time you will be working out at and for how long will you be doing it and you want to stick to that schedule if you know that Tuesday you need to be working out from 3 to 3:45, make sure that you get that done think of it as a business meeting that you need to attend or as a class you need to attend or whatever it may be the same way you need to go to class is the same way that you need to attend that workout now what I also want you to do is find time in the day and this is every day to go out for a walk the weather is much nicer now and there is no more excuses so find time in a day to go for a walk my daily goal when it comes to walking is 10,000 steps now I know that might sound like a lot and at the beginning for me it was I was walking and realizing okay another thousand steps to go but then after doing it for a week straight you kind of get used to it and recently I have been going on walks 13,000 steps 15,000 steps I even did 20,000 steps just because you'll see how you get used to it it doesn't get that hard anymore and you do actually enjoy it it feels so good to go out get some fresh air enjoy nature I do love to go take walks in the park or by a river that I have near my house so I really encourage you to do that as well during a weight loss journey there will be times where you won't feel motivated so it's really important to be disciplined to get your workouts done um, not eat those sweets after supper go for your walk or whatever it may be you will need discipline to get it done to help motivate you what you can do is buy some new workout clothes or buy and you know a Fitbit or an Apple watch I know that when I buy new workout clothes I am so excited to work out in them so when you need that little you know motivation to get you going that always does work of course that's not something that will work 
after a month that you've bought it. After that, like I said, you will need some discipline in order to get it done. But buying some new gadgets and clothes will of course help motivate you to keep you going. The last thing I wanted to mention is that for sure in a weight loss journey, you will hit some plateaus. Now what that means is that at the beginning, you'll start seeing results. The first week, you know, you'll lose, let's say five pounds. The next week, you'll lose two pounds. The next week that after that, you'll lose like three or four pounds. And then after that, you'll lose one and then zero. And what you need to do is not give up and say, this is not working and then just go back to where you started. It is absolutely normal to hit plateaus. Myself and everyone else on a weight loss journey knows what I am talking about because they have hit them 100%. <laughs> this is not a one step you know, you'll lose 20 pounds in a week video. This is about changing your lifestyle in general. You wanna live a healthy life and not just focus on become skinnier. You wanna feed your body with nutrients and vitamins that it needs, and of course, move it and get your heart pumping. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed those 10 tips I did share with you today. This won't be an easy journey, I can tell you that but it is not something that is impossible and that you just can't do. I'm telling you, if you do follow these 10 tips I shared with you today, you will see results. It's just important to stick with it, have discipline, and not give up. Losing weight is more of a mental game than anything. It's easy for your body to work out and go for a walk, but it's all up in here when you don't feel like it and you don't actually get to it. So if you can change your mind game and really stick to it and stay focused and stay organized and everything, you will see results. Make sure to check out my other videos here on my channel about how to lose weight. I have made so many for you guys and I have also shown you how I have done it myself. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!